communities west of the city are preparing for the most snow. WBZ's Beth Germano is in Framingham, where shoppers are rushing to make sure that they have what they need. Crews are gearing up in Sudbury, getting the trucks loaded with salt, the kind of activity they haven't seen here in a while, but they like the timing of this one. We don't have to deal with the commuting traffic, particularly on the, uh, the tight roads that we have in Sudbury. Uh, it alleviates that. 44 pieces of equipment have been readied in the last few days for the job, which in this area could be fairly sizable. Once the last flight stops here, we need about five hours to clean up the entire town and all the parking lots, and we're good to go. Normally, all these pegs are full, with at least six shovels on every peg, and you see what's left here now. Joe Degnan at Robinson's Hardware in Framingham hasn't seen the stock this empty in a while, from ice melt to even snow blowers finally selling. But he's staying ahead of this storm, ordering boxes of new shovels he expects will also sell out like they haven't for a couple of seasons. You know, if you're playing craps, everybody's been rolling good numbers for the last couple of years, but they're all coming up sevens now. A shovel for the car. Carol was among a steady stream of customers getting snow removal supplies because she's taking no chances. I panic if my snowblower doesn't start because then I'm in deep. I, I'm an older lady. Shoveling is not high on my priority list. And when it comes to the bread and milk, some supermarket shelves are already emptying out, with many people getting those last-minute groceries. We are out of fruit and some chips. Stephanie Dutcher figures she can sit out this weekend's storm. Milk, bread, of course, the usual. And I don't want to leave my house on Sunday if I don't have to. A Sunday storm gives everyone a little breathing room, but some DPW directors are already worried about rising temperatures expected next week. That'll create a whole lot of melting for them to deal with next. In Framingham, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Okay.